Here in the center of Europe, in the Czech Republic, there is a beverage which is cheaper than gold. It is beer. This golden colored fizzy alcoholic beverage has always been the most common choice of drink in the Czech lands, and it is considered as a national drink for over hundreds of years. In the capital of Czech Republic, in Prague, it is possible to see pubs almost in every corner. It's part of Czech culture, so like we go a lot to, to pubs, you know, there is a big uh, pub culture where you just go and you talk about stuff and you catch up with your friends and you need something to drink without getting like wasted and like hold all evening, you drink beer. We get a lot of drinks around uh, most, if, if it's not beer, it's also a Czech wine, Czech liquors, mm -hmm. slow, Slivovice and a lot of, lot of stuff like this, but nothing is so iconic as the Czech beer. It's been with us since like, you know, since we were born. I mean, I remember me being a kid and going to pub with my friends and I was like, ah, oh, secretly, yeah, I put the foam on the beer, and like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. So, uh, so it was always this like, when you get forbidden stuff, uh, you can't wait to be like teenager to start drinking beer, you know? And it's, it's such a big part of the culture. And even when I was a teenager, I went to my grandma's and grandpa's, like, a certain meal has certain alcohol to drink with and with a lot of those meals it was beer so even if I was like underage they were like no with this meal you have to drink beer and I like Czech beer because it's it's light it's bitter mm -hmm. you know and it's something you can drink all evening yeah it's just it's, it's a great drink Uh, I would think so because uh, we talk about it all the time. We have so many breweries. Everybody drinks beer. I know very few Czechs who don't drink beer actually. It influences a lot. Like I think it's it's just so so tightly packed in a in a Czech culture. It cannot be ever separated. Your president is a perfect example of <laughs> oh, yeah. this. No? Well, he uh, it is said that that he more likes Bekerovka. But... <laughs> In the 14th and the 15th century, the quality of the Czech beer has become the national symbol. Thus started the first reflections of taverns, where the local people go, drink beer and have conversation and fun. These taverns were the pubs of their times. For example, an anonymous Czech poem from the 14th century says, who goes to pub often, learns various stories and news. So, do Czech people really drink a lot of beer? I think it like we drink a lot of beer, but so because it's because it's as, as cheap as it is, it's it's cheaper than bread sometimes, and and um, it's it's just really good. Definitely, they drink a lot of beer. I remember in high school, like some mornings where we just had a beer for breakfast. I mean, if you get too much beer in the evening, the best remedy is the beer itself to like kind of balance all the horrible stuff in your body. Uh, obviously you can't continue with it, but it's good, you know, like little, you know. So, are Czech people beer patriots? Definitely, yes. People talk about beer all the time, people have their favorite beers, and there is like two sides of like, I hate this mark, no, I love this mark, it's yeah. this is the best bread, no, this is the worst bread, it's not drinkable, and it depends from which city you are. For example, there is a big fight about Staropramen, Mm. Because it comes from Prague, this brand from Smicho. And so people from this part they are usually like, no, it's good beer. Mm -hmm. And then you got people from Plzeň, where I used to study for like three years. But you have so many breweries and so many different beers and they're so cheap. And they're like, what? Staropramen? That's piss! <laughs> you know? It's funny because there is like a whole like universe around beer in Czech Republic and we are so proud of it. Absolutely, I've been fighting with so many people about why Czech beer is the best. So yeah, for sure. But I'm asking this patriotism in terms of preferring local uh, brands, but you yeah. don't prefer a Prague brand or like... I mean, I, I, I'm re like, by this time, I'm 29, so I drink a lot of different beers, and I, I can taste the difference. So if there is beer which is cooked like by the neighbor, you know, of course I'm gonna taste it. But if it's a shit, I'm not gonna drink it.
it depends. I've been uh, I've been traveling a lot, and and I found out that, that I really like Guinness as well, and mm. and it really depends on where I am. I wouldn't drink Czech beer in England because it would be always exported there, and uh, I would also always like try the local brand when I'm somewhere just to feel the the local vibe. Czech Republic has the highest rank in beer consumption per person statistics, with 143 liters in a year. This is equivalent to a single pint in every 35 hours. It also means that an average Czech person drinks one beer every day. I want to ask if you feel proud or ashamed about these numbers because it's I'm like quite a big number, 140. It's a big years. number, and Czech people drink a lot. That's for sure. But and at least in beer, you get a lot of good stuff for your body. I mean, the alcohol is not good for your body at all. Obviously. If you abuse it. If you abuse it, but it's like with everything. If you, if you abuse food, you can you end up also not being well. You know, I mean. So no, I really don't feel ashamed. I feel like it's part of our culture, and that's that's what we are. It's been here for ages, and it's. Like we used to drink beer to prevent diseases in like mm -hmm. middle age because water wasn't safe. Uh -huh. okay. So, no, I'm fine with this statistic. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would be proud or ashamed of, of the whole whole country, of Czech Republic, but I think it's it's a bit too much, but it really depends on individuals. So, I think I would be ashamed of a person that actually drinks 10 beers a day. Mm -hmm. But there will always be Czechs who don't drink at all, so so it it depends. I I'm not ashamed of my behavior, of how much I drink, even though it's uh, uh, even though I'm, I'm drinking right now, even though I'm taking care of uh, of my son, and uh, it's not a problem since I'm watching how much I drink right now. So if I were to ask you, rather proud or ashamed, or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much for your answers. You're welcome. Let's have a nice drive. Yeah, nice drive. Enjoy our beer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>